Hey everybody, hope you're doing well. Um, man, I have tried and tried and tried to get a video out today. I got up early this morning and um, put some thoughts together and it just, it wasn't coming out right. So uh, I'm still working on a couple of videos um, to, to post of some things that I've been studying in the Book of Mormon, just like uh, most of you who are members of the church uh, and come follow me. Um, but anyways, um, the reason I'm making this video tonight is um, I had a really interesting experience today. Um, just a typical Saturday um, and was taking my, my kids out of the house for a little bit get them some exercise we went to the park that's across the street from our neighborhood and you know uh went and got some other errands taken care of and uh got some lunch went to the park came home and started working on the house you know just doing some cleaning we, we got some friends and and family coming by uh, this week uh, not a lot of people, but anyways, just trying to get the house ready. And uh, <laughs> while I was cleaning up the kitchen, I noticed that my um, my ring was gone. And uh, I thought, okay, well, maybe it just fell off. I, I had a, a flashlight that's got a hook on it, and I figured maybe when I grabbed it, it just pulled my ring right off my finger. And so it was on the floor somewhere. So I, I started looking around. Um, you know, under the cabinets, uh, I, you know, just looking all over the house, couldn't find it. But you know, I didn't, I didn't sweat it too much because uh, back in February or March of this year, I lost my ring um, doing some yard work. <laughs> I was out in the backyard, and we had the family around our fire pit, and. Uh, my, my ring fell off it, it, you know what's funny is uh, in in cold weather this this ring just slips right off my finger maybe I, I don't know if I need to get it sized or what but um, you know resized anyways I, I lost it and it was just weird not having a ring on my hand uh, not having a ring on that finger and so I, I had a couple other rings that I wore when I was younger, and, and those just weren't, it just didn't feel right either, uh, wearing those. And about six months later, so it was like maybe September, August or September, uh, we had the kids out in the backyard throwing water balloons, and I had a Home Depot five-gallon bucket picking up all the the debris in the backyard and uh, when I bent down to pick up some busted water balloons to throw them in the trash there was my ring <laughs> so it was crazy it was it was awesome I you know I, I felt whole again it, which is is silly anyways so um, I've had my ring since and um, I uh, like I was saying earlier, going back to today, uh, took the kids to the park, came home, did some work around the house, realized that my ring was missing. And, but I wasn't stressed out about it. I was like, well, it's probably somewhere around the house. All of a sudden I had this thought to go back to the park and check and see if I could find this ring. Here, let me, let me uh, hold on just a minute. I'm gonna see if I can take it off and show you this this thing right here <laughs> oh man um, I've been wearing it for um, it'll be 12 years in January so it just feels weird not having it on my hand anyways I uh, uh, had this thought you know I need to go back to the park and check if nothing else you know I'll be able to sleep tonight knowing that I went there and checked and couldn't find it. Um, 
but uh, ended up getting in the car. My son, my oldest son came with me, and this sounds kind of cheesy, but hey, why not, you know? I, I said a prayer, um, which is what I did last time, um, but I was a little bit more frantic. This time I got in the car, we said a prayer, um, kind of cliche, but asking Heavenly Father to, uh, you know, um, guide me as I went looking for this ring. And uh, I thought maybe, uh, this is gonna sound really, really embarrassing. I thought maybe that I it fell in the bag of food that I threw away um, at the park so I went to see I, w I wasn't gonna grab the bag if, if it was if it had a bunch of stuff on top of it you know, I'm not a dumpster diver um, but uh, so <laughs> I went we and uh, we, we got that bag out and pulled everything out dumped it on the the sidewalk and it wasn't there so I was like okay we threw it back in the trash, and then uh, we I had a flashlight, so I'm shining it on this mulch around the swing set and this playground equipment. And I was like, yeah, it's not here. It's not here. It, it's at the house. All right. So I'm telling my son, all right, let's, let's head back to the car. And as soon as I was heading back to the car, I had this thought in my mind, okay, um, that the ring flew off my hand as I was pushing... My, son, my youngest son and, and my oldest daughter on the swing, on the swing set. And so all of a sudden I turned around, headed towards the swing set, and I grabbed this uh, swing for toddlers, picked it up, and then I launched it. And I looked down when my hand, kind of in the direction that my hands went, shined the flashlight on the ground, didn't see anything. I was like, okay. So I move over to the other swing because that's the swing my son was sitting in. I did the same thing. I picked the swing up and I launched it and I looked down. And as soon as I looked down, like a needle in a haystack, I found my ring in the mulch. <laughs> and uh, my wife, I think she was just letting me go out to the park just so um, you know, I could make peace with, you know, hey, I, I made the effort to go look for it, but I couldn't find it. Well, she, she was completely just stunned when I came in and said, I found it, you know, and I, I, showed, her, I, I showed her my ring on my hand, and she was just blown away. She couldn't believe it. And, you know, it was a good opportunity for me to um, express my testimony to my, my oldest son about prayer and you know how God cares about the the littlest things, the the insignificant things. You know, to some people, my ring is insignificant, but to me, you know, um, it. I, I needed to find it. <laughs> I needed to look, and uh, I, you know, I just simply asked him to to help me find it, and he did. Um, now, uh, I. My wife and I were talking, uh, you know, after dinner, and and I think I'm still going to get one of those silicone bands, because <laughs> I, I don't want to lose this ring again. You know, I've I've lost it probably three times, but found it every time, which is amazing. It's a miracle. But uh, anyways, for what it's worth, I just wanted to share that with you guys. Hope y'all are doing well, and hopefully here in the next week or less, I'll be able to post these videos I've been working on. <laughs> Uh, but I'll, I'll catch y'all later. All right. Y'all take care. Bye.